Hallelujah. So what he's saying there now, this is not something that is, 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 is situational. This is something that is fixed within us. A heart of thanksgiving. Some of us, God has blessed you yesterday and you would never know. Hallelujah. Some of you know God has been good to you and you would never know it. Hallelujah. The psalmist is saying here right now, give thanks at the remembrance of his holy name. It's not about what he's done. It's about who he is. Right? Verse 5, for his anger is but for a moment. Well, what does he say there? His favor is for life. Right? Right? Now, his, his anger, now when we talk about his anger, we're talking about his continence. His facial expression. All right? Sometimes God, we want God to just smile and give us everything he wants. Right? But sometimes God's confidence is just firm that I'm God. And you trust me. Some of us are still questioning things we had to go through. Huh? Where God has appeared to be angry. He's saying here, his anger is but for a moment. But his favor is for life. Huh? Weeping, last scripture, may endure for a night. But joy comes in the morning. Oh, hallelujah. The body is interesting because it is divided in a lot of areas. With the same tongue, we bless men. And we curse God. We use the same tongue for blessing, and we use it for cursing. Right? There are times now we can make good decisions, and we can make bad decisions. Right? We can laugh, and we can cry. The interesting thing now about weeping, because what the psalmist is talking here, when he's talking about weeping now, he is talking about weeping, and the weeping is out of control, where the weeping is for hours. He is talking about going through now, he compares the weeping to night. So it's not so much he's identifying the situation, he's comparing it to a season that appears to be nighttime. And how many of you know, there are times when God will get me up at 5, 4 in the morning, and I'll be in prayer. And all of a sudden, right around quarter to 6, you start to see the light. Mm -hmm. And it just changes the whole dynamic when that sun starts to come up. Oh, yes. Hallelujah. And it's not an instantaneous thing. It's a gradual thing. But the moment that you start seeing the light come through the windows, you know that morning is here. Yes. And what God is saying, every one of those nighttime moments you've had, I was sitting there holding the sun, waiting for that moment in the morning oh, yes. to lift up some light. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. We give God praise this morning that we've been made endure for a night. In his anger, the Lord has afflicted the psalmist, who in his despair cast himself on the Lord. The period of anguish was like night to him mm -hmm. because of the intense experience of weeping. His sorrow resulted both from the suffering and from repentance. The psalmist then returned to the Lord his God and experienced his forgiveness. The Lord then restored him a restoration or healing that is compared to morning light. Such restoration changes weeping into joy. Yes. The psalmist knows that it was by the favor of the Lord that he was restored. So the bottom line is we don't have to focus on the weeping. Yes. 
The joy of the Lord is that we have been restored. Hallelujah. Give God a praise in the house. I'm going to read this and close. This is Revelation chapter 21. This is a picture of our future. This is John the Revelator talking as he's being shown this awesome vision. I'm going to let y'all turn to this because I'm going to close that I read this. John chapter 21. I'm oh, sorry, Revelation chapter 21. Thank you, minister. Start reading at verse 1. If you have it, say amen. amen. Now I saw a new heaven and a new earth. For the first heaven and the first earth had passed away. Also, there was no more sea. So in other words, y'all, this is past.